Well, happening today, we're gearing up for the grand opening of the new Detroit Police Athletic League Stadium. Well, there are uh, two days of events leading up to tomorrow's ribbon cutting at the old Tiger Stadium site. 7 Action News reporter Nia Harden is live in Corktown this morning with what's being done to celebrate the revival of that site. You guys, in this place that sits on Michigan Avenue, this ballpark is so, so beautiful. You can just see a little bit of it right here. And this is all for the kids in Detroit. Right now, uh, they're actually getting ready to have a breakfast. But I want to tell you about the state-of-the-art stadium. Uh, this will be all for kids uh, from Detroit. They'll be able to have the opportunity to play baseball on a historic field. Detroit Powell offers 11 different athletic programs, helping more than 14,000 boys and girls every year. They started this fundraising for... They started fundraising for this back in 2016 and last year they actually broke ground here. Uh, so they did this pretty quickly, creating uh, a new stadium and complex. Now Tigers last game at Tiger Stadium was in 1999. That's two decades. Powell says it was an eyesore to actually look at this empty field and all hands were on deck to make this happen. And it wouldn't have happened without a few good people around the community to come out and say, we know we can do something with this site. And next thing you know, you take the opportunity with Corktown and Detroit Pal and the rest of the community seeing that we can make a difference and this is what we get. And today they will recognize over 100 donors unveiling a wall for them that will be here at the stadium entrance. Later they will have a private dinner and they'll also have a public event called the Afterglow from 9 to 12. Tickets are $75. Now, of course, tomorrow that's when the big things start at 10 a.m. You can come down here. They'll have the ribbon cutting. Um, and, of course, there will be lots of things for you to do with you and your family. Nia Harden, 7 Action News. All right. Sounds like a wonderful way to get yeah, the weekend started and to uh, celebrate the rebirth of that spot. Beautiful. Thank you, Nia.